Our Milky Way is hiding something truly massive, two colossal cosmic bubbles stretching tens of thousands of light years above and below our galaxy. These enormous structures, brimming with high energy radiation, remained undiscovered until just a decade ago. What caused them? A violent eruption from Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, may be responsible. Some scientists believe these bubbles are the remnants of a cataclysmic event that reshaped the Milky Way millions of years ago. Others suggest they could be linked to bursts of star formation, or even mysterious unknown cosmic processes. Galactic explosions. What's behind these bubbles? Scientists have proposed two leading theories to explain the origin of these vast bubbles, both pointing to violent events in the Milky Way's history. The black hole jet theory. One possible explanation is that our galaxy's supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star, experienced a dramatic eruption millions of years ago. In this scenario, the black hole may have undergone a period of intense activity, releasing a powerful jet of energy into space. This high-speed jet could have accelerated. Similar jets have been observed in other galaxies, where black holes unleash colossal outbursts of energy, shaping their surroundings in dramatic ways. This theory suggests that Sagittarius A star was far more active in the past than previously thought potentially altering our understanding of the Milky Way's history, the starburst-driven winds theory. An alternative explanation is that an intense period of star formation near the center of the Milky Way triggered a wave of supernova explosions. In this scenario, a burst of rapid star formation, known as a starburst, could have resulted in multiple massive stars reaching the end of their lives in quick succession. The energy from these supernovae could have generated powerful winds pushing gas and particles outward and creating the enormous bubbles. Similar stellar-driven outflows have been observed in starburst galaxies, where concentrated star formation leads to large-scale galactic winds. While both theories offer compelling explanations, recent computer simulations increasingly favor the black hole eruption hypothesis. These models suggest that Sagittarius A star likely went through an active phase millions of years ago, unleashing enough energy to form the massive bubbles observed today. By the way, do you love shocking space discoveries? If so, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, because the secrets of the universe are just getting started. While both theories offer compelling explanations, there's another layer of complexity that comes into play. Cosmic rays. These high-energy particles, traveling at nearly the speed of light, may be playing a significant role in the formation and ongoing activity of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles. Let's take a deeper look at how cosmic rays could be fueling these structures. The role of cosmic rays in the bubble's energetic activity. When we talk about the Fermi and Erosita bubbles, it's essential to understand the role of cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling at nearly the speed of light. These particles can be generated by a variety of cosmic phenomena, and in the case of the bubbles, cosmic rays might be a critical component in their formation and ongoing activity. Cosmic rays are primarily composed of protons and atomic nuclei that have been accelerated by the powerful forces at play in the universe. These particles are often the product of violent cosmic events like supernovae, black hole activity, and gamma ray bursts. When a cosmic event occurs, it can unleash a burst of high-energy radiation, accelerating particles in the process. Within the Fermi and Erosita bubbles, these cosmic rays interact with the gas and dust that make up the surrounding medium. The result? A cascade of high-energy interactions. As these cosmic rays collide with other particles in the gas, they release energy, which in turn heats up the surrounding material. This heating effect contributes to the structure and brightness of the bubbles, making them even more noticeable in X-ray and gamma-ray observations. Interestingly, cosmic rays have the potential to enhance the overall energy output of these bubbles. As cosmic rays are accelerated through magnetic fields, they can travel great distances before dissipating. In the case of the Milky Way's bubbles, this means that the high-energy particles originating from the black hole or starburst activity could continue to energize the surrounding gas, making the bubbles persist for millions of years. The process is similar to how a charged particle in an accelerator can generate radiation as it spirals through magnetic fields. Another intriguing aspect of cosmic rays is how they may contribute to the long-term evolution of the bubbles. 
these particles can have a lasting impact on the local environment by modifying the interstellar medium, the matter that exists in the space between stars. This modification could include the formation of new structures or even the triggering of new star formation as cosmic rays interact with the gas clouds in the Milky Way. The study of cosmic rays is still an area of active research. While the connection between cosmic rays and the bubbles is strong, scientists are still exploring the exact mechanisms that drive the acceleration of these particles. Some models suggest that the bubbles are regions of high cosmic ray density, where the energy from the central supermassive black hole, or starburst winds, accelerates particles in a process known as shock acceleration. This phenomenon is common in other high-energy astrophysical environments, like the remnants of supernovae. In summary, cosmic rays play a significant role in the structure and behavior of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles. These high-energy particles provide a link between the dramatic events at the core of the Milky Way and the large-scale structures we observe today. Their energy interactions continue to shape the bubbles, revealing the dynamic, ever-evolving nature of our galaxy. Evidence from other galaxies the Milky Way is not the only galaxy exhibiting these large-scale cosmic structures. Astronomers have observed similar bubbles in other galaxies, reinforcing the idea that such explosive events are a fundamental part of galactic evolution. Even within our own galaxy, a smaller-scale example exists. The Orion Eridanus Superbubble, a cavity of hot gas and dust, stretching about 1,200 light-years across. This structure, likely formed by stellar explosions and winds, provides a localized example of the processes that may have created the much larger Fermi and Erosita bubbles. The presence of these bubbles in multiple galaxies suggests that such events are not rare occurrences, but rather a universal process shaping galaxies throughout the cosmos. While we've seen similar structures in other galaxies, what does the existence of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles tell us about the Milky Way's own evolution? The bubbles themselves are not just passive remnants. They might have played a crucial role in shaping the galaxy we see today. Let's explore how these energetic events could have impacted the galaxy's structure and star formation over time. Impact on Milky Way's galactic evolution. The discovery of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles offers a remarkable glimpse into the energetic history of our galaxy. Beyond the immediate mystery of their formation, these colossal structures hold clues about the Milky Way's broader evolution. Understanding how such large-scale phenomena fit into the galaxy's past gives us insights into the forces that shape the galaxy as we know it today. These bubbles are not just remnants of an ancient explosion. They might also have played a crucial role in the ongoing development of the Milky Way. One of the key impacts of these energetic events could be their influence on star formation within the galaxy. Star formation is a delicate process, heavily influenced by the surrounding environment. Intense explosions or outflows, like those that could have caused the bubbles, can trigger or suppress star formation in different regions of a galaxy. In the case of the Milky Way, the energetic activity from the supermassive black hole or a burst of star formation near its center could have significantly altered the balance between gas inflows and outflows. If the bubbles were generated by a series of supernova explosions, as suggested in the starburst-driven winds theory. These events could have released enormous amounts of energy, pushing gas and dust outward, preventing new stars from forming in some regions, while potentially triggering star formation in others. The rapid expansion of these gases could have disrupted nearby molecular clouds, causing them to collapse and form new stars. In other areas, however, the energy from these explosions could have heated up the interstellar medium, halting further star formation by preventing gas clouds from cooling and condensing. On a larger scale, the formation of the bubbles might also have had a profound effect on the Milky Way's structure. Galaxies are dynamic systems, constantly changing shape due to the interplay of gravity, gas, and star formation. The interaction between the bubbles and the Milky Way's interstellar medium especially over millions of years, could have played a role in reshaping the galaxy's spiral structure. The energy released by the bubbles might have even triggered the formation of new spiral arms or contributed to the overall balance of stars and gas within the galaxy. Another fascinating aspect is the potential long-term effects on the Milky Way's halo, the spherical region surrounding the disk of stars. 
This area contains not only dark matter, but also hot gas that extends far beyond the plane of the galaxy. The expansion of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles could have affected the halo's gas content, pushing it outward and enriching it with the high-energy particles. This, in turn, could have impacted the halo's evolution, influencing the distribution of both ordinary matter and dark matter. As we continue to study these bubbles, scientists are increasingly looking at them as potential markers of the Milky Way's history, shedding light on its dynamic and violent past. These energetic events, whether driven by black hole activity or intense star formation, may have been a critical component in shaping the galaxy's ongoing evolution, influencing both the formation of stars and the distribution of matter throughout the galaxy. In essence, the Fermi and Erosita bubbles are not just cosmic oddities. They represent moments in the Milky Way's history that have had profound, lasting impacts on its structure, star formation, and even the way matter is distributed across the galaxy. As we continue to explore these enigmatic bubbles, we may find that they are key to understanding not just our galaxy's past, but its future as well. What's next? With advancements in observational technology, astronomers are preparing to investigate these bubbles in greater detail. Upcoming X-ray observatories and powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are expected to provide deeper insights into the exact composition of these bubbles and the mechanisms driving their formation, how these structures interact with the Milky Way's interstellar medium, whether similar energetic events could happen again in the future. These investigations could help answer fundamental questions about our galaxy's past and reveal whether another large-scale eruption is possible in the future. The Shocking Discovery In 2010, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope detected an unusual and unexpected structure in space. Two enormous symmetrical bubbles extending 25,000 light-years above and below the Milky Way's galactic plane. These structures, now known as the Fermi bubbles, were filled with high-energy particles moving at nearly the speed of light. Their presence suggested that a violent and energetic event had occurred in the galaxy's past. However, this discovery was only the beginning of an even greater cosmic mystery. A bigger surprise in 2020. A decade later, astronomers using the Erosita X-ray telescope made an even more astonishing discovery. They found a new set of bubbles, twice as large as the original Fermi bubbles. These newly detected X-ray emitting structures extended 45,000 light years above and below the Milky Way, completely surrounding the Fermi bubbles. The existence of these massive structures raised a crucial question. What could have possibly caused such enormous cosmic formations? Final thoughts. The discovery of the Fermi and Erosita bubbles is a striking reminder that the Milky Way is far from a calm and stable environment. Instead, it has been shaped by powerful, high-energy events. Events that may have influenced the formation of stars, planets, and possibly even the conditions necessary for life. Could another galactic explosion happen in our lifetime? While the odds of witnessing such an event are uncertain, the possibility remains a fascinating topic for scientific exploration. What are your thoughts on this discovery? Could these cosmic bubbles be evidence of even more dramatic past events in our galaxy? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you found this cosmic journey intriguing, consider subscribing and enabling notifications to stay updated on the latest space discoveries.